Hi friends, I am Valerie Battenson and I'm a member of Richland Lutheran Church and I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. Today I am grateful. I am grateful for a God who knew me before I was formed, who loved me so much that he sacrificed his own son for me, and who wants a daily relationship with me. My uh, devotion today is centered around the book of James, chapter 1, verses 16 through 18. Don't be deceived, my dear brothers. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. He chose us, he chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all that he created. I'm finishing a Bible study with some of my prayer warrior sisters. And I love my Bible study group because they keep me in God's word, which I'm continually blessed by. We laugh, we shed a few tears, we pray for each other, but most importantly, we walk alongside each other, we support each other, and most importantly, we read God's word and discover God's truth. So I really like this verse, these verses from James because they have many truths in them. First, there is a deceiver and he tells us lies. God gives us good gifts. God is unchanging the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. God chose us. God gives us the gift of his word of truth. And God wants us to be his first fruits. Wow. An exercise we did in Bible study was to divide our lives into fourths and consider the gifts. I really encourage you to try this. You may be Maybe may be surprised whenever you think through all the parts of your lives. Some parts are going to have some really rough spots, but if you follow them long enough, many times you will see the blessings flow through. For me, a difficult time was when I was diagnosed and treated for breast cancer. While that was really hard to go through, I found there were many blessings during and after. First, I learned that God is in control and I am not. My relationship with God became so critical to my life. He was by my side and sometimes he carried me. I knew that he would be with me through everything. And if the final outcome wasn't what I was praying for, I was at peace with that because I knew he had the perfect home for me. I was overwhelmed by the number of people who cared for us during this time. Cards, meals, acts of kindness showed that we were surrounded by people who loved us and really cared. And I learned what was really important to me, my relationship with God, my family, and my friends. And I have the strongest desire to give back. I want to be God's hands and feet and heart here on earth. I want to share that God loves us so much. Now it wraps back around to another major point in James. And that is, if you have faith, it will show. We will control our tongue, we will love others, and we will keep from being polluted by the world. Now, those things are difficult unless we keep our relationship with God strong. Reading the Bible, worshiping with fellow Christians, having friendships with fellow Christians, they all make a difference. I would like to close with the first part of James chapter 4, verse 8. Come near to God, and He will come near to you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your constant love and your good gifts. Help us to recognize these gifts and to be grateful for them. Guide us to live our faith in words and actions. 
In Jesus' name I pray.